On March 5, 2007, the Golden State Warriors defeated the reigning Eastern Conference champions, the Detroit Pistons. This win ended a difficult six-game losing streak. It also sparked one of the most legendary moments in Warriors history, the We Believe Run. Led by visionary coach Don Nelson, this unique group, including Jason Richardson, Baron Davis, Matt Barnes, Stephen Jackson, and Monte Ellis, captivated the heart of Dub Nation as they led the Warriors on a whopping 16-5 run to end the season. That building was as loud as I've ever heard it. People were so happy to see the Warriors become a factor. It was really a movement at that time. It was just a crazy experience to think that really we made it to the second round and it's still something that's talked about 10 years later. I think we've really captured the imagination of the NBA and we made history. After an average start to the season, we ended the regular season winning 16 of our final 21 games. No one thought we can do it, but we proved them all wrong and captured the eighth spot in the playoffs. The first playoff berth in 13 years. We need to win, I think we have 17 games to get ourselves in position for a playoff with a run. And I'll never forget Matt Barnes, Baron Davis, and Steven Jackson. They were at the back of the plane talking about what they need to do to try and make this run. We had to really scratch and claw to get ourselves in the playoffs, and we instantly it all became family. It was just a band of brothers on and off the court. They pulled themselves together, pulled the team together, and we went on this incredible run to get into the position to make the A spot and then eventually shock the world. Our victory over the Trailblazers in the final regular season game propelled us to the first round of the NBA playoffs, where we are set to play the heavily favored number one seed, Dallas Mavericks. The Warriors, they got into the playoffs, and they were playing Dallas Mavericks, who were 67-15 and 15 with the best record in the league. Kavinsky at three, and he buries it. Now he said, you know, we're going to beat Dallas. And that's the first thing he said. And he bought into it and went in there and got game one. And after that, we were rolling. 1.1, throw it to Barron from mid-court. Banked it in! My he banked it in! You saw all this emotion come out of them in one particular playoff series, and you felt it, you saw it, it was a movement. Nelly used someone's strength and make it a weakness. He put a smaller man on Dirk Nowitzki, and the Warriors disrupted their whole offense. I think it was the key for Nelly to realize that we can affect Dirk by putting smaller players on him it was the key to the series. Going into game six, we were up three games to two. With our fans rallying behind us, we were ready to make history and celebrate the team's first playoff victory in 15 years. My favorite memory was in the sixth game when we beat them by 20 points at our place. It was a series where we, we came into a lot of confidence just because we played them so well in the regular season and we knew we could beat them. The fans were just incredible. Lawrence gets into the paint, dunks it. I don't believe my eyes. There was something I'll never forget. People are standing and chanting and cheering. Still getting the goosebumps to the stage just thinking about it. We figured that would be a dog fight, you know, a real close game. And we broke on top and we stayed there the entire game. The Golden State Warriors with their first playoff win in 15 years on the home floor. That team really took pride in not only winning for ourselves in the organization, but winning for the city. Dropping Barnes for three. Good! The fans really gave that We Believe slogan substance. The way they wore their shirts and the way they really cheered with a lot of pride, and they were proud of the team. We're doubling Baron. Beatrice inside. He dumps it down and draws the foul. Oh my word. You know, they still say that was the loudest crowd they've ever heard in Oracle was during that 2007 playoff run. So we always wanted to thank them and go out there and play our hardest for them. And, you know, we did that. The Golden State Warriors would not be the team they are today without the pairing of one of the most innovative coaches in NBA history and a team of unlikely stars who came together at just the right moment. First, Let's rewind a bit. In a time when the game was played at a much slower pace, it was Don Nelson who first pushed the tempo, believing that small ball could win a championship. In 2007, he put this unorthodox approach to the test. 
what an exciting time we had there uh, when we beat the Dallas Mavericks in the playoffs. Just a great opportunity to coach some great young guys. In 2006, the Warriors rehired Nelson as head coach. After 13 years without a playoff appearance, an unlikely cast of characters came together to do the unthinkable. I think Nelly was the only one that could coach that team. I mean, we had a we had a lot of characters on that team, you know, guys with you know different personality, and he just fit right into it. I mean, we were, we were a band of guys that were outcast, and uh, Don found the best way to get us all together and get the best out of us. It started off with when Baron first came over. He's an all-star superstar. He came over and it really changed my game because it showed me how successful he was with the work ethic he had put in. You know, we got Monte Ellis, I think that same year, he was a young guy. Ellis for the perimeter. Uh, that could play, kind of fell into the second round, could have been a first round pick. Um, then, you know, the trade against Steven Jackson and Al Harrington. I think that was the, the big difference maker. Because um, those guys, they fit into that culture of Oakland, playing hard. And I think it just, it made the perfect team. It just meant hope, you know, like, you know, after years of missing the playoffs and uh, years of being one of the worst franchises in the league, it meant hope and it meant just, you know, that you can believe again that this team can do uh, great things and this, this atmosphere could happen in, in this kind of, in this building. There's no place like Oracle ever in basketball. It's uh, the greatest place to coach or to play. When I think of We Believe, I just think of like a sea of just yellow. They stood up the whole game. I don't think anybody sat down. The city was dying for it at the time. The way we played gave the fans energy because we played with passion. We was diving on the floor. You know, we were screaming at each other. We was dancing on the court. You know, we made it fun and we made it exciting. And the city just supported us, you know, and we had the loudest arena that year in the playoffs. And uh, that goes to testament to our fans, how, how happy they were and uh, how glad they were, they were to be back in the playoffs. Since we got in the playoffs, now he said, you know, we're going to beat Dallas. And that's the first thing he said. He kind of helped build that Dallas team right before he came back to Golden State. We started putting guards and forwards on Dirk and really tried to get underneath him. And I think that's what kind of changed that Dallas series and allowed us to win. So for us to kind of have the blueprint and for Nelly to realize that we can affect Dirk by putting smaller players on him, I think was uh, the key to the series. So going into the playoffs, we were confident. We didn't care if they won six or seven games. With having Don Nelson, he gave us all the tools we needed to win the game. They are running him right down to the ground. Jackson filling the lane, and there's the Warriors in the open floor. Al Harrington has Jason Terry on him. It's going to do that. Drops it to Petrus. He handles it down. Doubling Baron. Petrus inside. He dumps it down and draws the foul. The Golden State Warriors have pulled off the greatest upset in the history of the NBA playoffs. Golden State Warriors have pulled off the biggest playoff upset in NBA history as they dispatch the 67 win Dallas Mavericks. Yeah, oh yeah. It really was special because, uh, you know, for so many years they, they hadn't made the playoffs there and uh, kind of a new coach, new theory, and uh, to be able to have success as early as we did, make the playoffs just barely in the last day and then, uh, you know, beat the number one team. In a seven-game series, I don't think it had ever been done before. We believe in you, Coach. Yes, we do. That's for you, Coach. Yep.